Hello sis D and I'm back with another video. Well it's been a crazy 24 hours as a lot of Sony fans are mad at my last video. Now it's all because I said that sampler feedback streaming, that the IO throughput and memory would be freed up tremendously and that would essentially give the Series X SSD a 2.5 times performance boost that you would need an equivalent SSD with the speeds of 12 to 15 gigabytes per second. Now I do want to note at the end of my video I did say that the PlayStation 5 on paper does have a faster SSD. But but I do believe that the velocity architecture does mitigate a lot of that. Now in the end, both next generation consoles have very fast SSDs and I don't think that gamers will really be able to tell the difference. Now today I have some really exciting news. I want to talk about the Xbox Series X and its newly revealed financial program. Now you will be able to finance in Xbox Series X. Now this is all according to Yahoo Finance and I gotta say it was a very interesting video. So without further ado, I'm gonna let the video play. and. I at the end, I'm gonna come and give you guys my opinion on what we just saw. Microsoft is putting a little added pressure on Sony today. The company's rolling out a pretty tempting payment plan for gamers to get their hands on its upcoming console. Our tech editor and gaming expert, Dan Howley, is joining us now. And Dan, tell us more about this, I guess it's zero interest financing for the new gaming console. Yeah, this is for the Xbox Series X, uh, and it's going to give you, uh, as you said, zero interest financing for the console itself. We still don't have a price on it yet, though, but this really is a way, I think, for Microsoft to ensure that regardless of what the price is, gamers will still be able to get in on it uh, at launch or at least close to launch without having to worry uh, that they're dropping so much cash all at once. Now, I think that's a big move, uh, especially when you consider that uh, younger gamers may not be able to afford uh, this kind of console, uh, which again, we don't have the price for yet. Uh, but really, I think it's, it's a smart move and something that Sony uh, is going to have to take into account and perhaps even do on their own, considering that Microsoft and Sony are going into their new console uh, wars at the exact same time. Both companies will launch their new consoles this holiday season. Yeah, and yeah, those, uh, it's shaping up to have, be console wars, uh, certainly this holiday season. Who wins? Who has the better system? Microsoft has the more powerful system uh, on paper, but that really doesn't say much as far as the content of the games uh, and what gamers are actually going to like when they uh, eventually see them. Uh, you know, right now Microsoft has the most powerful console on the market with the Xbox One X, uh, but that still doesn't mean that people stop playing Sony's PlayStation. Sony has outsold the, the Xbox One uh, by a wide margin. Uh, so I don't know necessarily which one is going to, to come up first. I think one of the other interesting things that Microsoft has announced is that they're teaming up their Xbox Game Pass with their xCloud offering. And that's something that is just going to completely blow away the competition when it comes to the new generation, uh, or I guess the first generation of game streaming platforms. That's where you can play games on any device, your smartphone, your tablet, your smart TV, uh, your laptop, uh, and of course your consoles without needing to though own a console. So that's something that's coming down. Uh, but Microsoft already has their Xbox Game Pass where you can subscribe and get access to more than 100 games. So tying those two up kind of creates, and Microsoft hates for it to be called this, but a Netflix of gaming uh, that I think people are really going to want to flock to, especially if the pricing is right. Yeah, any idea why we're not hearing on pricing? Is this is this the way it usually goes? Is this a little unusual that we haven't gotten a price this close to the to the product launching? I don't think it's too unusual. You know, usually we would hear them uh, closer to launch, but I think really what's happening here is we're at a time where a lot of people are obviously out of work, uh, as we saw, you know, uh, from the unemployment numbers again. But uh, I also think that Microsoft and Sony don't want to kind of be the first to, to drop their uh, price so that they're not able to be undercut. Now, I think that for, for Sony, a, a lot of the rumblings are that it'll be a pricey console and pricey consoles have not done well in the past. Uh, Sony at one point had sold a console for $499 uh, in the PlayStation 3 and that system was not a good performer. Uh, Microsoft's Xbox 360 came out at around the same time uh, and sold outsold this PlayStation 3 at first. Eventually, they ended up kind of neck and neck with the amount of uh, devices sold for each company. But you know, they came out with the new version of the the PlayStation 4, uh, and that's done gangbusters because it was put out at the right price point. 
Now that was a pretty interesting discussion and they brought up some interesting points. Now they're expecting the PlayStation 5 to be higher priced than what most are anticipating. Now I have heard some rumors that it will be priced higher than the Xbox Series X. I don't really believe any of that to be honest with you. I really do think that the PlayStation 5 is going to be $499 as well as the PlayStation 5 Digital being $399 and the Xbox Series X also to be $499. Now I'm not really in agreement with Sony pricing the PlayStation 5 the same as the Xbox Series X as it's a more capable system but that's what I'm hearing. Now for it to be more expensive than $499 I do believe that would become a harder sell. But then again the technology that's in both of these next generation consoles is worth far more than $500. Now I guess we're gonna see in August I don't think we have too much longer to wait but I do think it's good that Microsoft does have a finance plan for those that want to get an Xbox Series X and perhaps don't have the money to pay all of it up front. Now this kind of does lean to the consoles being a little bit more expensive than we think but once again a pricey console I just don't see it selling as well. Anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.